<clears throat> All right. So for now, let's get a little drawing of a base just to have on hand. Hmm. You're gonna crucify me for this, but I'm just gonna make it right here. And then this line here is the very top. I know it's distracting with the notes there, it's just my note app is like having a moment. All right. All right. Um, this is technical stuff. So we're going to want to do make an A here and a B here. Essentially, you want to section your music off, and I want you working on all the stuff in A first before you start bumping up to B. And this will limit how much you practice. It will let you like, work on key parts and sections and then put it together as a whole. Putting it together as a whole is the final step. All this stuff down here, which I didn't give you, that's piano stuff. Don't worry about that, as it says piano here. Okay, first things first, anything that I highlighted here, and I'll send you the picture, all of these you're going to want to write at least the note name above. You don't have to highlight them, that's perfectly fine. So it's all the flats, and the flat symbols here. And I'll explain what a flat is in a minute. An A flat. Here's your one mark down here. That's like you have A, E, then you have B, F. So all, all these flats, they're not really crazy flats. As you see, A flat, low one on G, B flat, low one on A, if it's if it's not the higher one. And I'll show you that in a minute. E flat is a low one on D. So. Mm-hmm. It's hard because I have to use two fingers to scroll when I have the, the tool app open. So you want to be right here. Up here is your scroll. That's the top of your instrument where your tuning pegs are. You know, you, you should know how to play these. I'm just going over it for the sake of going over it. So A flat, B flat, and E flat. Now, you have another B flat. And that's this note right here. And that one, <clears throat> would be right on this line. And then this line here would be your B. And this line here would be your C. So the way the fingerboard is set up, a to B, that's a whole step. Don't worry about what a whole step and a half step are now. This is just so that you understand like why B and C are right by each other. B flat is in between because B to C, that's a half step. All the other ones are whole steps. That's all you need to know. Don't worry, we'll get to it. You should know what, I, I told you what they are before, but just, you don't really need to worry about that now. Just know that midway between A and B is B flat, and that's where your note is. 
easy enough. This knot right here. Um, okay. You have an F sharp, not an F natural. So it's a two, not a four. So swing tempo. What swing is, is say you have two eighth notes. It goes da da, easy, one and. Uh, one of those, yeah, it's perfect and symbol. Cringe. When you have swing tempo, a dot goes here. Not here, actually. And you get a 16th note in there. What that is, is now it's... They, it's a whole song. So every first note is longer than the second note. So instead of going da da, like this, it's gonna go da 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 da. So you know you could count up one and two and three and four. That's the whole song. They put swing in there so you can notate things easier. Makes life easier for the writer. It's just kind of notated. So you're gonna go. Do 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 versus do 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 I go do 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 Yeah Yeah it does take the the longer the video the longer the upload I'll get to you in a minute. Okay. Where's that line there? Uh, okay, so shifts. The shifts here. Cram tool, nice. Always look ahead at shifts before you play. Because it's just for, for the sake of setting up. This one, if you're going to write it in, shift up to a 1, then a 2. So C, like I showed you, that's A. This is a theoretical B. C is going to be your right after B. It's close. In between A and B is B flat. So if you have a tuner, definitely check out where B is. Just slide around and then try to get that in tune. If Put one on your phone. And then slide up to a C. Notice how close they are. That, that's key. Because you would think logically, you know, A, B, and then C would be here. And then it'd be D. It's not. B and C are right by each other because they're half steps. So it's going to go C and then you're going to have a D flat. So D, you're going back to regular distance now. C to D, that's a whole step. So D would be right here. Slide around, see where D is. D flat, you're actually, just to make sure it's realistic, it could be a little lower. D flat is going to be equally between C and D. Your tuner will show you where D flat is too. It's easy when you have a tuner. So download one. I think you do have one downloaded, so slide around, try it out. But you're going to want to want it one two because you're not going to want a one one because it's not an efficient slide. You're wasting movement. It's gonna it's gonna sound choppier. You could do it. I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, yeah, one two is good. If your fingers don't reach, use a one three. One three is perfectly fine. Whatever's comfortable. Just don't do a one one. Uh, 
Spanish or whatever. I don't really care. There we have it. <clears throat> Bring it there. Okay. Down here, you have another shift. That goes to an E flat. Where is E flat? You have A, you have B. You have C, you have D. You're going pretty far down now. Equal, you're going back to equal distance. So A to B, equal distance. You know that. C to D, that's equal distance. That's a whole step. It's pretty far. Use your tuner. Make sure you see how far it is. Get that in tune. You don't want to ruin your ears by playing constantly out of tune. That's why I wanted to tape your bass, but you said you can't. But at least use a tuner. Equal distance, D to E. So where's E flat? Midpoint between the two. What's a flat and a sharp? A flat is perfectly in between two naturals. This is a natural sign. This is a flat sign. This is a sharp sign. <clears throat> when you flat something, the pitch goes lower. You might know this. I don't know what you know. Don't say I'm calling you dumb, because I'm not. A sharp is the opposite. It is higher equal distance between two naturals. So this right here, that is an E flat. But you're probably thinking midpoint between two naturals, a flat and a sharp would be the same thing. Yes, this is an E flat, but it's also a D sharp. They're notated different. You just kind of know that, got to know that in between two notes, that's something. You, you just got, yeah. So if you see a flat, it's lower than E. E flat is lower than E. D sharp, higher than D. <clears throat> it's, it's just how it is. They're called enharmonics. That's the actual name for it. You don't got to worry about it now. If you take um, music theory, you have to worry about it a little. It's not really something you think about a lot, so I don't really take it like, oh my god, I don't know what that is. Alright. <clears throat> That's quite a bit for now. Right. So, you know, use that one. You could use a slide up three. You're going to have to move your hand up as, as you go with it. Like, you can't just reach out with your hand in, like, a stationary position. Um... The rest is pretty simple. Saw it in the video here. That's quite a bit. I'll resend the picture so you have it. But listen to that again. And then... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. I love you. Bye. Video's about to get interrupted. Let me upload this and send it to you. Okay, I think that's all.